Do you smell the air outside? <sighs> well, in Florida, it's still hot as H-E double hockey sticks. Where's the fall weather? Anyways, we're still gonna go to the pumpkin patch today because we gotta get our pumpkin carving in for the year. And you know we're gonna do our big annual competition probably, and we need some practice. You can't just go in willy-nilly without getting a few practice pumpkins. Because I'm winning this year. I never win, I'm winning. We got the crew, everyone minus Jayla. She didn't wanna come along, she's in a funk. Everybody hit your thumbs up and comment. Jayla, get out of your funk. And that's F-U-N-K. Not the other one. Last year, Baby Wren, I almost knocked Ada out with this camera. Oh my God. Last year, Baby Wren could fit inside of the pumpkin. We put her inside of the pumpkin. Do you remember that? Yes. It was so cute. cute. Who decided to put a pumpkin patch right next to the highway? So anywho, we are gonna be having our big annual, it's a lot of annual things happening. You know, the holidays are coming up. We're also gonna be going to the big pumpkin patch this weekend. And we're gonna vlog that as well, so stay tuned because that's like a whole other beast. This is just our pumpkin carving practice that we're doing. And then Ada and Rory got a Trader Joe's apple kit, like caramel apple kit. So By the way, is it caramel or caramel? Caramel. Fight it out in the comments. Caramel. It's definitely if caramel. You say, if you say caramel, what are you? What are you There's mean? two A's, baby. What, like pronounce where them. Where do you get the car in the mail? Yeah, where do you get the car in the mail? That's what we need to know. Anyways, we're gonna be doing that later on. Um, the, the caramel apple kit and we have never had a successful caramel apple kit work for us no, last year ever in our lives last year we did. They didn't come out good though. Remember it was kind of they were kind of grody. Oh no. geez. They were so oh good. my gosh You guys are gonna kill the baby be careful This is <laughs> This is so dangerous Oh my gosh She is ready to go Have a mission it is to find the squares of square pumpkins. We have to find a square find. one. That's a tough mission. We already found a worry one. Can you find a square pumpkin? You know what? I am not a stickler for rules, but the number one rule at the pumpkin patch is don't pick them up by the stem. And please do not, because some of us love a pumpkin with a good curly Q stem on them, okay? We don't want a stubby stem. Do you like stubby stems? No. No stubby, like stems. no stubby stems. I don't know if this counts, but I found a triangular. A triangle. Uh, yeah, not square. Nope. Rory claims to find a square one, but let me see. Nope. Nope. Doesn't count. Hmm. This is the closest one so far, but it's still a little too round. When I was younger, I used to think that getting the biggest pumpkin was the best idea until it came time to carve and I had to have like mom and dad do it. Cause so all I've, the guts. Yeah, so now I've learned that you need a medium sized pumpkin because it's perfect cause you can get a pretty good carving on there but it's not like you're like scraping yeah, yeah. it. Yeah, that's right, but, that's right. Yeah. It's a pickle pumpkin, whoa! <laughs> also, a little pro tip. You know, sometimes you think it's too early to start celebrating. The early bird gets the worm baby. We have the best pumpkins to choose from today. Moran is gonna be the one to find the square one. I just know it. She's the smartest one in the family. Look at her, she's already walking and talking. How smart. Another close call, but I don't think so. Now that is not a stubby stem. That's what we That's like. It's so big. <laughs> Ren, where are you going, baby? Renny, Ren Taylor, where are you going? You climbing in the pumpkins? Is it so much fun? Do you love pumpkins? Oh, Ada, that is still big. No, that is way too big, no, Ada Bear. Oh, it might fall. You're, you have not learned your lesson. You still haven't learned it. No, it's not that big because it's narrow so it, it, it balances. It'll work out. All right, we got gonna, dad to the rescue here. This is the one you get right here. Classic. It's gonna get big points for the judges, for sure. You could do a perfect little jack-o'-lantern on this perfect. one, you know? Sometimes it's better to just go simple. Cute and simple. Whoa! Whoa, are you okay? <laughs> All right, did we find. Does that count? Uh, I don't think so. What about that way? Mission failed. Nope. Oh, geez. This is it. Right here. This is a square one. Challenge of the day. That's pretty good. Who found the squarest? pumpkin today jesse ada or rory i want to see who's going to win this competition 
I vote for her. All right, I know he's my husband, oh my God, and I should take his side, and I will. That's exactly what I'm gonna do. I think Jesse had the squarest pumpkin. Rennie found the pimp pickle pumpkin that Rory found earlier. <laughs> oh no! Did you fall down? Uh-oh, shake it off. Sorry, it's okay. Uh, nobody's gonna grab that pumpkin, so don't worry. Just leave it there. Oh, geez. This is the one you want? You're having Ada syndrome. This is exactly what Ada used to do, and she always regretted her decision. Are you sure? Are you sure? How much does this pumpkin weigh? How much do you think it weighs? Like 40 pounds. 40 pounds. You know, that's a $30 pumpkin right there. Insane, huh? I know one that's even more. Oh. Yeah, this is what we come to the pumpkin patch for, just to play in the dirt. Ah. It's time for your tour of the patch. Let's move this out of the way. Well, you can put red in there. Go ahead. Look, there's a stem in here. It's crazy. A stem. All right. And they draw the face in yellow. We've been here for like 20 minutes now, and they still have not picked out their pumpkin. And to me, it'd be pretty easy to pick out a pumpkin because they're all about the same, so I don't understand why they haven't picked one out yet. Guys, look at that fresh cut he got. He is just looking so good. Did you pick out your pumpkin yet? Classic. Just ignore daddy. My pumpkin. This horse's neck is broken. Oh, okay. You're riding the horse with the broken neck? Yeah. Well, good for you. Girl, did you find yourself a wagon? Whoa, dude. Is that a John Deere? Bro, you got a John Deere. Rory, you ready to go carve up these pumpkins? Yep. Guys, Enzo is sitting on Ren's lap and she's just so happy. She loves Enzo so much. Ren, are you so happy that Enzo's on your lap? Yeah, she doesn't look it, but she is. <laughs> she always smiles when the camera is off. The fall festivities are continuing. We have apples and gumbo. Even though I said it's hot in Florida, we're pretending like it's cold. We got some gumbo, we're gonna crank the AC, we're gonna turn on that <laughs> fireplace back there, and it's gonna be a party, baby. Oh. Um, so we gotta stick our apples. Yeah, so, so far we're taking the stem off and then putting the stick in them. All right. And then Ada's the, the chef Professional. of this. Operations. So I think whatever it's second year. year. It's my second year making caramel apples. I pretty much got the hang of this. I think like you literally just microwave the caramel that's you in do. here, and then you do. Yeah, very it's... nice and simple. Very nice and simple. By the way, these are the best Dino Nugs you will ever experience in your life. Like Go buy them now. Shh, I'm having a Dino Nug Man. moment. The fall festivities are happening over here. Gosh, so. Leah. Oh, sorry, they're happening over here. Yeah. So why don't we have something down protective down? We didn't even need that. It's my second year. Yeah, it's her second year, Mom. We need protective gear. It's my second year. It doesn't second, matter. Second, not first. What even are we the, supposed to put down? A newspaper? Like, uh, something. Like we even get I'm them getting the plate. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. Culinary parchment paper. This is what the pros use, okay? Even if it's their second year. You go like that? Look it, look it. No mess, no fuss. Throw it away when you're done. Yes, ma'am. There's an intense debate here about toppings. What's going on? Ada, Fill me in. Ada wants to be greedy and put no toppings on any of the apples. Okay, all right, what's said, your side of the story over here? I said we could put peanuts on one for mom. Peanuts on one for mom? And then that was our, that was our, what is it called when you come together? Compromise. That was our compromise. They're coming together with a compromise. You guys are gonna have to stay tuned. They're making some crazy toppings here. We're gonna expose the toppings, guys. We're going with Slim Jims on our caramel apples. Yeah, we're gonna have them sticking out like a porcupine. Guys, it's my second year. I know the Slim Jim apples sell like crazy. The Slim Jim apples do sell. They do, everyone wants Slim Jims on their apples, of course. 
And then we're also gonna be topping with some dino nugs. Who doesn't love a dino nug on a sweet caramel apple? Yeah, These like apples it. look delicious! Nice. Later. All right, baby, here we go. We got the caramel coming on. If you guys haven't noticed, I say caramel, they say caramel. I'm right, they're wrong. Nope. Just the way it is. All right, so Ada's got this technique down. Look at this. It's her second year. <laughs> it's her second year, and she goes heavy-handed on the caramel. In fact, I think she's only going to have enough caramel for two apples. <laughs> so there's a debate going on whether or not the caramel is actually oh, hot man. enough. And this is, this is where things could get bad. This is where a problem might happen because what might happen is Ada throws it back in the microwave and they bring the caramel back out and it's burnt and tastes like a toe. Okay, air rolling them around in the nuts. Roll, oh my gosh, that one for me? This one's for you, mama. Yep. She likes them real nutty like that because yeah. she's a nut. <laughs> Here's a nut right here. She's going nuts. Look at it, Ren. What's wrong? Oh, she probably got a poopy. That means she got a poop. How long do I have to wait to eat this? Until it's hard. Probably can eat it now. It doesn't get hard. They stay chewy, don't they? Yeah, but like until it's right. Just wait. eat it now. I just want to eat it now. I don't want to wait. Wait, Tim. Do I have to wait till after pumpkin carving? I think it's ready. Look. It's not even sticky anymore. Yeah, don't touch that one over there to the right. That? <laughs> <laughs> this one is definitely the technique is, you know, Smooth. Guys, I don't think we have it's, it's smooth. I say just cut up the rest of the apples and just dip them in. Oh, that part would be good. It's the perfect spooky weather! Ren, are you gonna carve your first pumpkin? Yeah. Daddy got you your own special carving yeah. knife. She got her carving knife. Don't worry, it's not real, guys. We got it at the Halloween store. Enzo got stuck outside in the rain. Buddy! Buddy, what happened? You were outside in the storm? It looks like he found some shelter. He's all good. And he wants Ren's apple. That's why they're best friends. What did somebody do on my... Poop. It's a poop. They put a poop on my stick? I wonder who. Poop. <laughs> Ren, what did you just eat? What did you eat? Can you say chocolate? She keeps going, more. Show them how you sign more. We're going to we're carve. Setting, we're setting the spooky theme now. Get ready to come carve pumpkins with us. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, oh, we're gonna have to abort mission, guys. It's wet and slippery here. Where should we go? I guess we need to relocate. Okay. Lanai. Yeah, let's go under the lanai. What are y'all doing? Well, I thought it was gonna be fine out here. Do I start telling my story? Yes. It was a dark and stormy evening, kind of like this one. There was a blonde young girl. She had a horrible stomachache, like nothing before. She ran to the bathroom, used it, went number, wiped, there was nothing there, and it was a ghost poop. Whoa! Ooh, that was scary, that was scary, that was scary, dude. Ghost poop. Oh, I've had those before. Rory just got here, so she missed half the story. Put it in here, bro. You want me to retell it, tell it, Rory? Yeah. A few moments later. So it was a ghost poop! Ah! It was better the first time. Yeah, Jayla told it way better. I, I gotta give her props. Daddy, oh my do gosh. This. Girl, you are willy-nilly with that knife. <laughs> Carving pumpkins is my least favorite. I know, they always give you the worst knives, too. They're yeah. never sharp. Oh, All right, sorry. let me help you. Based on true events, one time there was a little girl who woke up at 3 a.m. She heard growling noises under the bed, so she went to go check, and she ran to turn the lights on. When she finally got a look under, it was Diesel picking at his dingleberry. <laughs> <laughs> Were you picking at your dingleberry at 3 a.m.? Were you? Were you? Was it underneath Rory's bed, Diesel? Was it? Was it, Diesel? Was it underneath Rory's bed? Here's the real story that's gonna send shivers down your spine. There once was a girl and a little boy. They were brothers and sisters. And they loved their family and had a really happy family. One day, the mother and father had to leave for work. Speed it up here, oh please, my God. Please, please. I'm right, doing this continue? on the go. 
and the babysitter was nowhere to be found. The what? The babysitter? The babysitter. All right. The babysitter's nowhere to be found. There's nowhere to be found. <laughs> and the little boy and little girl walked all around the house. And it kept getting later and later. It was 8 a.m. And it was 10 a.m. Then it was 5 p.m. Why did it, well, why was it in the morning? Never mind. I'm not gonna, I'm not I knew that that was exactly how that was going to go down. Jesse will go on and on with his ghost stories forever. Just get to the point, man. Okay. All right, it's Ada's turn. See if she can do any better. I didn't even get to finish my story. I think she can It was a long time ago, a foggy night. Shh, one second. The only light in the sky was the moon. <laughs> Speed it off! <laughs> Speed it off! There was an old lady <laughs> rocking in her chair. This Creak! Thanks for the sound effects. Oh. Was her name Sherry? No, and you could see some sort of smoke coming out from her. This old boy came, like 20 years old. Old <laughs> came, came, cause she was by a gas station. So he came to fill up his tank. She got up out of her chair, went to his car, and stole it. <laughs> the worst Halloween night. He had no car to go trick or treating, cause it was so cold. <laughs> I have a bit of a theory here. I really think Ada decided to sabotage Jayla in the pumpkin carving contest. Let me explain why. Tis a contest, child. Tis a contest. Um, Ada literally picked out the <laughs> thickest pumpkin possible. Look how at how thick this thick? eyepiece was. By going a little. I yeah. did it. That's how you check. I saw you. you I tapping? saw you tapping on the pumpkins, Ada. <gasps> Ada does. She's a pumpkin tapper. So I know. I saw it happen. So every year... I would say Jayla and Rory always do like a classic freehand jack-o'-lantern while Ada decides to take on something a little bit harder which is weird to me because Ada is not the artist in the family. Yes, Jayla and Rory are the artists but why don't you guys do the fancy... Because I am doing something. Because it just is more fun and it always just comes out good. So anyways we can't know what her thing is. She's keeping it a secret from everyone and it's really bugging me because I want to know. So that's how nice and thin Rory's pumpkin wall is. So much easier to carve. If you couldn't guess already, my pumpkin is a cat. And I know that it looks a little funny right now, but that's because they're still light out. Ada and Rory are still vigorously working. This is, you know, the mess. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. I like it. She's painting around the holes. Ada's is still a surprise, but Ada's still on the stencil. When are you gonna get to the carving, man? Oh, I'm almost done with the stencil. Get out of here! Oh my god, she's scared I'm gonna see it. Okay, you guys were the first ones to see the pumpkin. Hey, it's a pumpkin on a pumpkin on a broom. Hey. All right, time to get the fans' reaction. All right, Jayla. The finished pump. Aww. It's a flying pumpkin on a broom. It's so cute, I love it. You did a good job. Thanks. Oh, it's Mom, really open. good. It's so cute. Here, it's too dark in here. You can't even. That's the point. You're supposed to see it in the dark. I know, I know, but it's really good. It's a little yeah, witch that, is so, that is so cool. <laughs> Did you show everybody? Yes. I love it. Rennie. Yeah. They were the first ones to see. Look at Ada's pumpkin. <gasps> Look at pumpkin. That looks so good. Wow. What do you think, Ren? <laughs> you love it? Is that so cool? <laughs> Her eyes are so big. <laughs> Are you scared of it? It's okay. Ren does not like Halloween yet. Yet, yeah, so, or it's probably just a ever. Pumpkin. What it's do a you pumpkin. think? You can touch it, see? It's a light. That's so cool, huh, baby? <laughs> it's okay. You don't have to be scared. Damn. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> we took Ren to the Halloween oh, store. Um, I think it was. I don't know, maybe a week ago is when we did everything our baby touches at the Halloween store we buy. And Tara and I felt so bad because we felt like we actually corrupted her mind a little bit. And we didn't really like that. Oh, she's back from her All right, Ren. Tell them to eat their pickles. Say, eat your pickles, kids. Bye. <laughs> bye. Rennie, say bye. Say bye. Say bye. It's like her favorite word right now.
We forgot about the masterpiece. Rory's, look at this. Tilt the head, because you can see the battle. The masterpiece. Back in the middle.